Hi, and welcome to another video from Inside of Blackpool. In this one, we take a little walk around the Woolworths building in the centre of town, right next to Tower, and we're going to recount some of our memories of shops and nightclubs housed within its walls, and then take a trip to have a look at some of the extensive renovation work which is currently being undertaken by uh, Quadriga. This will bring the building back some way towards its former glories. As ever, or uh, is standard nowadays, if you like this video, please consider giving it a like, a comment, or even give us a subscribe. Um, as ever, really appreciate it if you do. Uh, because we're lazy, we're doing this um, video from memory. Uh, these are our, our family collective uh, memories of the Walrus building. Uh, we're bound to miss some nightclubs or, or shops. So if there's any that you remember that we don't, then Please uh, let, let us know and um, when the renovation works complete we may revisit this video and do a new one and uh, include uh, your memories. But for the time being, sit back, relax as we begin our tour around the building. So we start our tour at the front of the building, that's the promenade side, just by the Weatherspoons with the rock ice cream and uh, novelty items store now to be honest this has been here as long as we can remember so if any of you can remember there being some other shop there or entrance to the building that we're not aware of then please let us know then swiftly moving on around the building to a pub which a lot of you will be familiar with this is the weatherspoons of the albert and lion now there's rumors of this uh, this pub um, actually applied to go all the way through the building but due to the sheer size and the effects it have on other drinking establishments in the town centre uh, that was rejected and it's about half the way through the building whereas price buses which many of you will remember fondly um, we definitely remember being here um, that ran for full length all the way through the building um, including the basement it was a, a real um, real big market. Then moving just around the corner off the promenade onto Adelaide Street West um, we hit on our first memory of a club. Uh, these doors used to be the entrance to Madison Avenue um, and also either Heaven or Hell. I can't remember which way round that was to be honest but um, it did turn into either Heaven or Hell. And from the entrance to the old clubs, which uh, which is located just underneath the uh, clock tower, we continue down the side of the uh, Wolves building towards the back entrance to Price Busters. As I mentioned, Price Busters went all the way through this building um, and took up two floors. Our main standout memory of Price Busters was uh, the, the towel guy, we'll call him over, the, the towel store. He used to um, put on quite a show and quite a few... Uh, should we say uh, middle-aged ladies used to gather to uh, to watch um, him throw out towels and uh, buy all the towels there. It was uh, really quite a quite a sight. What's your remember, uh, memories of um, stores in Price Busters? So the uh, the back entrance to Price Busters now um, is actually a Poundland. Now one store which we remember being there briefly, which I'm not sure um, how many of you will remember this. Is Peacocks um, that was also located in uh, the Poundland um, premises. And our final stop on the tour around the Wolves building um, is the entrance that was to Macy's nightclub, we remember, um, and again, either Heaven or Hell. Um, this is now Sports Direct and also houses Game. Uh, this is on Bank Hay Street. So that's it for our memories of um, shops and nightclubs in the, the Woolworths building. We were too young to remember Woolworths actually being in there. Um, what's your memories? Please comment uh, on the video below. So as I mentioned, Quadriga are currently working hard to restore uh, the Woolworths building to its uh, former glory. Uh, they very kindly facilitated us with some photos of the work underway. Um, and also some footage of what the building's um, f floors look like currently, um, which we decided to just uh, add on to the end of the uh, end of this tour. Um, so please um, enjoy. 
Let's start by sharing with you some of the wonderful views that you can see across the town from the top of the Woolworths building. This one's looking north um, towards North Pier, then south that's towards Central. Straight down, you're looking at the, the comedy carpet that's directly in front of the tower, but obviously the, uh, the Woolworths building is bang beside the tower. And then um, looking down on the car park that's on top of um, the Hounds Hill shopping centre. So following on from the views from the, the top of the Wolves building, um, we have a few pictures of the work which is underway and being undertaken by Quadriga on the um, outside of the building. As you'll see, it's, um, it's got full scaffolding all over uh, the building now, including uh, the clock tower. We're replace, they're replacing a, a number of the, the bricks. It's really a, a big job that's going to cost in excess of two million all funded privately. Um, I don't believe there's any council grants involved in this one. Now, we used to think that the facade of the building was all um, tiles. However, it turns out these were all just polished concrete blocks and there's a hell of a lot to, uh, to replace. A number of cracks and uh, need replacing due to the adverse weather conditions you get from the Irish Sea hitting the building. So as you know, there's a number of tenants in the building now, Sports Direct, Weatherspoons, um, Poundland. However, there's also still a couple of floors which are, are empty in the Woolworths building. Um, we've got a number of photos uh, to share with you of these floors and also some video footage. It really is like stepping back in time when you go onto these, uh, these empty, empty floors. They're a huge space. Um, and you can only imagine what they were like when they were populated and at their peak um, you know, with the, the walls, cafeteria, etc. You can still see uh, the storerooms, um, labels for, for bedding, a freight office, I don't know what that was about, um, and Chinese restaurants. Um, you can still see all the, the bits and pieces of old that are still now untouched for many, many years. As you'll see, these are huge spaces, um, really going to waste. It is a shame because obviously um, being located bang next to the tower, these really should be um, prime uh, retail or, or leisure, leisure premises, um, but have remained empty for a good number of years now. We do hope you enjoyed this uh, this tour around the Wolves building with us and the, the sneaky peek we managed to get inside, courtesy of Quadriga. Our thanks go to them. If you did enjoy this video, then please give us a like, a comment and a subscribe. Until next time, thank you.